Just minutes after starting a regularly scheduled meeting, the Central District Health Board shuts it down. The board was set to continue discussions on a proposed health order expanding mask mandates, among other new measures. Idaho News 6's Ricardo Coronado explains why the Boise mayor and police chief asked them to stop the meeting. My 12 year old son is home by himself right now and there are protesters banging outside the door. Okay, I'm going to go home. Nearly five minutes into the Central District's health meeting, board member Diana Lachiondo left in a panic stage and the situation didn't improve after. Peterman, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I got a, a call a call from the, the mayor and it sounds like the, the police uh, and she is requesting that we stop the meeting at this time because of the intense level of protesters in the parking lot and a concern for uh, police safety and staff safety. This is one reason the meeting ended quickly. A large crowd gathering outside the Central District Health Office. People holding signs that they aren't too happy about the public health order. Board member Ted Epperly says he also had protesters outside his home. The Boise Police Department says they arrested one person for trespassing. Boise Mayor McLean addressed the cancellation during Tuesday's Boise City Council meeting. Health and safety of our community is paramount to me and I'd say to each of us as council members. Um, the health and safety of our residents, of those who as citizens are giving their time to make decisions to the best of their ability to protect our public health. McLean says this has gone too far. But what we saw tonight and what we're continuing to see more and more is a rise in temperature um, that's not safe, um, a threat of violence that is meant to intimidate but can also ultimately incite and cause deep, deep problems in our community and tear families and others apart. Ricardo Coronado, Idaho News 6. A new meeting date hasn't been announced yet. CDH says between Friday and Monday, the board received more than 3,000 written public comments on the latest draft order. Some of the biggest tweaks include allowing school sports and long-term care visits to continue with a number of provisions. It also expands mask exemptions. You can find the draft at IdahoNews6.com. And Governor Brad Little, who has also dealt with protesters at his home this year, weighed in on Twitter, writing, the actions of protesters at the private residences of public officials is reprehensible. It's nothing more than a bullying tactic that seeks to silence. Our right to free speech should not be used to intimidate and scare others, unquote. He writes further, quote, there's no place for this behavior in Idaho. I urge calm among Idahoans so we can get through the pandemic together and stronger.